Maybe you're right, Dr. Thor. Dr. Hieronymus. Dr. Grotti. Mr. Lakshmi Narayanan. And Mr. Vishwanathan. To please come forward to light the lamp. introduction to the Bosch group uh, to understand who we are, where we come from and where we are today. From our consumer goods and building technology sector, I would say power tools are probably the best known products on the Indian market and maybe also worldwide. Uh, if you ask somebody in Germany what, what comes to your mind if you think about Bosch, he says the Bosch fridge and the spark plug. So these are uh, two of the brand ambassadors we have out there in the market. We always said we need three legs to stand on within Bosch. Two are not enough. Uh, we would like them to have, have them a little bit more balanced than they currently are. So automotive with 65% we still see somewhat on the strong side. So we want to grow the non-automotive parts somewhat stronger. Uh, we see a good position in the, in the consumer goods, power tools, we are the world market leader. And uh, we will probably invest further in the industrial technology. We have consistently invested more than 7% of our total turnover in R&D. Uh, roughly 21,000 engineers worldwide have generated in 2003 alone 2,750 patents. Uh, that's 12 patents per working day, so we increase the speed, or we work longer, I don't know. Um, 12, so a day without 12 patents in Bosch is not a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Our portfolio on the automotive side uh, since the early 70s has been oriented along the so-called 3S program. 3S stands for safe, clean and economical. You say that's not 3S, you're correct. They stand for sicher, sauber, sparsam, which is the same in German. We can see here that from 1993 to 2003, we have doubled our presence in Asia, or more than doubled from 6 to 14 percent. At the same time, we've doubled our sales, so that means we have expanded our sales in Asia by, by more than four times. Uh, this has been possible in India, in Japan, and in China. So when, when Robert Bosch died in 1942, his last will was to give the major portion <coughs> of his fortune to an independent trust and only roughly 7 or 8% lie still with the family. Um, the trust itself, the Robert Bosch Stiftung, does, does not have any operational say in the company. This is with the Robert Bosch industry Treuhand, uh, which is basically taking care of the votes of the trust. So we could say uh, the guys who get the money don't have the say and the guys who have the say don't get the money. So this leads to a, to a very long term, can lead to a very long term, and does lead to a very long term thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now turn to Robert Bosch in India. The Indian auto market is now on the way to true globalization as Indian manufacturers enter the world market and we expect the Indian market to double, at least double by the year 2013. Today, India is one of the 
largest markets in the world for two-wheelers, tractors and commercial vehicles. While starting its business with spark plugs and fuel injection equipment, many new products have been added. In 1998, we founded Robert Bosch India Limited as a subsidiary for software development. And what are our plans for the Indian market? In the first place, it means further growth opportunities. As a basis for this growth, we plan to further develop our existing Indian companies, first and foremost our flagship MICO, into R&D competence centers and manufacturing hubs as part of the Bosch Group's international development and production network. On the other hand, further integration of MICO into the international Bosch production network will give MICO the global reach of Bosch. The technology, the global expertise, and the international network of Bosch will also bring benefits to the Indian automotive industry. And against this background, I'm very pleased to announce today that we plan to bring production of the latest generation high pressure diesel injection system from Bosch, the common rail, to MICO. We will invest a total amount of around 100 million euro. <laughs> the high pressure pump for the system will be produced here in Bangalore. Additionally, we will build up injector, produ injector production in Nasik. First common rail systems are scheduled to come off these production lines in early 2006. Now the time has come for Bosch to take a more active role and commit itself even more to the Indian market to fully utilize the available opportunities for the mutual benefit of Maiko and Bosch. The strength of the Bosch brand together with the global experience and reach of Bosch is available for the growth of Maiko in the Indian and in the international market. The time has come to further integrate with each other to synergize our strength. We at Bosch are very lucky to have such a successful establishment in India that we can use as a platform for further growth. I thank all of you for your contributions so far, which have given Bosch a head start in the Indian market. All of you have to further support and drive the strength of Bosch. As much as I would like to thank you for your efforts in the past, I would like to urge you to step on the gas and to put Michael and Bosch on the fast track. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael is invaluable for Bosch. In future, Michael will play an even, even greater role at Bosch. Let's be excited about the emerging opportunities and move forward together to show the world the power of we as we have done in the past 50 years. Thank you and a lot of success. Today we are proud 